story now and get further reaction from America as we go live to New York, where I'm now joined by political scientist Norman Finkelstein. Mr. Finkelstein, many thanks for joining us. Now, we've had widespread condemnation in Europe so far at the actions of the Israeli Defense Force when they boarded the aid ship flotilla. But what has been the reaction over in America? So far, there's been a pretty mild statement by President Obama regretting what happened, saying it should be investigated, but not going beyond that. I would call it a mild, a mild display of concern. So uh, just a mild display of concern then. But uh, Jerusalem has said that it was just trying to protect its borders and its citizens and that the flotilla was actually on a mission to discredit the state of Israel. What do you say to that? I think there are many things that need to be said and there has to be serious thought given to what's happened. Let's start from the basics. Israel was imposing an illegal blockade on Gaza, what was called by Amnesty International last week a flagrant violation of international law. The United Nations Committee of Elders, uh, people like Nelson Mandela, Desmond Tutu, they just distributed a, t a statement today in which they called the blockade of Gaza one of the worst human rights violations in the world today. Number two, Israel, was, Israel attacked a humanitarian convoy in international waters. They used armed commandos to attack an international, or I should say a humanitarian convoy in international waters. I think everyone can agree that there's no possibility, there's no way to justify using armed force against what were clearly unarmed humanitarians trying to relieve an illegal siege of Gaza. But to me the more important question is this, namely, during Israel's massacre in Gaza, December 2008 and January 2009. Afterwards, Israeli officials were saying that they wanted to show the Arab world that they, they, that they were capable of acting, capable of acting like a lunatic state and like mad dogs, that they wanted to restore the Arab world's fear of Israel. And that's why they acted like a lunatic state and like mad dogs in Gaza. But after yesterday's events, we really have to ask the question, is Israel acting like a lunatic state or has it become a lunatic state? And that's not, that's not just a rhetoric. It's a very serious issue. Well, Mr. Finkelstein, Israel the, the UN is actually meeting... Nuclear device. It's true, and the UN is actually meeting today. It's held an emergency meeting to discuss the raid and, and uh, its reaction to what Israel has done. So what sort of conclusions do you think that they will come to? And do you think their findings will make any kind of difference? Well, I, I, well, I think the important issue is that what happened in Gaza, excuse me, what happened with the Gaza flotilla was not an accident. You have to remember that the Israeli cabinet met for fully a week. All the cabinet ministers discussed and deliberated how they would handle the flotilla. There were numerous reports in the Israeli press, numerous suggestions, numerous recommendations about what to do. At the end of the day, they decided on a nighttime armed commando raid on a humanitarian convoy. Israel is now a lunatic state. It's a lunatic state with between two and three hundred nuclear devices. It is threatening war daily against Iran and against the Hezbollah in Lebanon. Hezbollah in Lebanon has already stated on several occasions that if Israel attacks, it will retaliate in kind. Things are getting out of control. We have to ask ourselves a simple, basic, fundamental question. Can a lunatic state like Israel be trusted 
with two to three hundred nuclear devices when it is now threatening its neighbors, Iran and Lebanon, with an attack. Okay, Mr. These are serious issues. Mr. Finkelstein, now, I'm what afraid we're going Gaza to have to leave it there mm -hmm. and we will have to wait with interest to see what comes out of that UN emergency meeting to discuss this raid. For now, that was normal Finkelstein, sorry, live from New York.